Thank you, Osmosis, for sponsoring this video. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss my seven recommended resources for the USMLE Step 1. And I don't recommend a lot of resources, only a few. And honestly, that's all you need. I remember what it was like when you first start med school. You want to get a ton of books and videos and QBanks. And you kind of want to buy everything, all this stuff, because you think you either need it or maybe it'll give you an edge. Then you're left with a rack of books, information, information overload, too much to ever go over. Please don't do that. Keep it succinct. Keep it easy. First things first. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Second thing, the holy grail, what every student should have and hasn't really changed in the past decade is first aid. USMLE first aid. This is the grail, right? This tells you everything you need to know. I repeat, it tells you, doesn't teach you, but tells you what you need to know. And it's up to you to find resources that actually teach you that material, to understand the mechanisms and the whys and the what. Then you fill it out, right? You put it in the notes or whatever you do, but you need this book just to tell you what's actually going to be on the test. Great. So you understand what's going to be on the test. So what resources will teach you what you need to know? I recommend Osmosis. And this video is sponsored by Osmosis, but before they sponsored me, I recommended them to all my students way, way, way before they sponsored this. Look at Osmosis videos on YouTube. I think they're absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen at least one of their videos while studying, I don't know what to say. I don't know where you've been. But they also offer, along with their videos, flashcards, cube bangs, study schedule. And in addition, Osmosis Prime offers things that are looking out for you in terms of your mental, physical, emotional health. They're partnering up with great people to help you along because studying for the step sucks. So having these services available is great. So please check them out. And as a giveaway, I'll be picking a random person who comments below and giving them a trial of Osmosis Prime. Now, one of the toughest sections on first aid has to be microbiology. It's so difficult to remember the nuances of strep and clostridium and this and that. And Sketchy Micro is probably the best microbiology resource out there. They do sketches, quick memory aids. And if I'm being honest, I can still remember some of these pictures four years out is great now you've fleshed out the material in first aid well you have to get comfortable with answering questions and reading questions question stems and the like so you need a q bank a question bank and the best question bank out there has to be u world u world is in my opinion the best question bank and if you google u world you will see my dumb face out here i kind of like that <laughs> i kind of like that and that's my pop most popular video on this channel. Uh, check it out. But essentially what I talk about is we are still in the studying learning mode, right? These are resources to study and learn uh, the USMLE step one. You use UWorld to learn. It's an incredible teaching tool. It has graphics, explanations, etc. It's fantastic. It is not an assessment tool. Those are your practice exams, your MBMEs, uh, your UWSAs, etc. So please use UWorld as a Q bank and as a teaching tool only. That's honestly all you really need. Now, are you going to run in, into something in first aid that's not covered in the resources above? Of course, it's inevitable. Nothing is that comprehensive, except maybe my channel, my amazing channel. I, I'm joking, of course. I still get comments every week about where my, I don't know, my microbiology section is. All right, I get it. But if you run into something that the resources don't cover my last resources that i recommend are easy google google it if you have a question google it if you have a question about this why does 2-3 bpg increase in high altitude you know what you do put usmle on the end of it because if you have that question i guarantee someone else has that question student doctor network step one forum someone has that question same thing they'll talk about it very very easy now if you don't understand something Wikipedia. Wikipedia is also an incredible resource. They break things down incredibly well. They, they'll break things into signs and symptoms, cause and mechanism, diagnosis, treatment. I mean, come on, what else do you need? Are you a visual learner? Put it on YouTube. Put in multiple scrolls. Put USMLE on the back of it. It'll come out with great videos. Again, Osmos is one of the most popular, almost a million views. So Google, Wikipedia, YouTube, this is how we've been studying and learning in the past decade. Now, notice there isn't a textbook in here. This is bloody 2020, right? Just Google what you don't know or watch a succinct video. When I had a question, which was all the time, I didn't crack open a textbook. I didn't look at the appendix to find a page, flip it to the right page, read. No, I just Googled it. All right, so that's it. Keep it short. Keep it easy. 
you'll be all right. So thanks for sticking around for all these years. I appreciate it. It's been a journey. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears putting out my USMLE video course for y'all. I just want to make it free and available to everyone. So if you found the videos I've made helpful and want to give back, consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash lymed. Shout out to my two patrons, Animas and Sean Michael Nankumar. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.